Dana, we've sat here and had the same conversation before where ACV, Air Canada Vacations plus Europe, uh, isn't always the obvious association right. for retailers. Exactly. And uh, I have to say, you know, having sat here with you in the past doing a similar video headliner, we had that conversation. We talked about the fact that we were trying very hard to help agents understand that we offer Europe. It's a big part of our diversification efforts. Right. We have seen we have made incredible inroads. I mean, the the agents are clearly getting the message and thank you very much for all of the agents watching. By the way, you've supported us so well this year. How do you know they're getting the message? I, this is interesting. Well, listen, I, I, it's a conclusion that we are drawing because the business is up significantly in Europe. Really? We have our top sellers. We talked about that in our last um, video. We talked about Greece, Spain, Portugal, Italy, the four top sellers. We have so much more than that. But it's clear the agency community is hungry for an alternative for Europe. And I think that we're filling that void. And it's the packages that are selling? It is the packages. The packages. That's correct. All yes. right. So it's so working. flight plus hotel plus private transfers. And maybe that's the difference. Maybe it's the private transfers. Maybe it's the, you know, obviously the pricing has something to do with it. I mean, Europe is not a sun vacation. It is a, it is a more expensive product, which to me translates into a slightly smaller audience, right? But the, the business is really coming in, so we're very happy. Well, we love to hear good news. Whatever shape or form it takes means the business is good, agents are doing well, you're doing well, so it, it's just a win-win. Green lights as far Green as the lights. eye can see. So now we're shifting a little bit to talking about fall travel in Europe, which is probably one of the best seasons to go. Absolutely. So off-season for Europe is April, May, or September, October. By the time you get to November, it's a little bit like November here, depending mm -hmm. on where you are. So maybe not as fun, um, but September and October, I don't know if you noticed that the fall seems to be getting, it seems to be a little bit later each year. And so for your customers that want to be going to Europe, September and October is such a great time to go. Let's just start with Portugal. Portugal, I get to see the wine harvesting. Okay, so that's enough of a reason to go to Portugal. But then we have so many other places to see my experience in Europe has been that the pricing completely changes in the off season. And I'm not talking about necessarily just the package because clearly it's a better value to go mm -hmm. in September and October or April and May for that matter. But also we find that uh, I go out for dinner and the bill is less. I go shopping and the prices are better. So the, the, the merchants in these places understand that it's a slightly different market in September and October. So the package is less expensive to go to the same wonderful places. And by the way, when you're in some place like Italy in the summertime, it can be very, very hot. Yeah, for sure. It can be very hot. We had a wonderful time when we were in Rome last year. Wonderful time. Um, it was very hot. Had we waited until September, October, we could have done all the same walking in weather like it is today, 23 degrees, just perfect. And less lineups. Less lineups. Um, less competition for um, uh, all of the tourist attractions. When we were in, I have to talk about Dublin for a moment because I just came back from Dublin a couple of weeks ago. Can I just say one of the best vacations? It is now rivaling Barcelona as my favorite city anywhere. Um, we saw St. Patrick's Cathedral. We saw all of the main sites. Uh, we did some walking, we did some shopping. Uh, ladies, just so you know, the shopping is not far away, and, um, uh, and we had an absolutely fantastic time. So mm -hmm. that would have been in May. So we're talking Portugal, mm -hmm. Ireland. Yes, Ireland. I mean, you've got Italy. Some of our packages, uh, just so you, you know what they're called, Barcelona, your way, uh, Madrid, Rome, Lisbon, uh, your way, classic London, a taste of Ireland. Mm. So not only do you have the, the flight plus hotel plus private transfers and all these other wonderful things, but you also have um, tours included in these packages. And so what we found is it doesn't take very long when you start to add up the prices of the tourist attractions, you know, eight euros here and 22 euros there right. and 25 euros there. And pretty soon, um, understanding the euro is one and a half times the Canadian dollar. So when you've got all of that baked in, like what we have in our packages, the value is so much better. I want to understand something. 
touring guided vacations, as they're called, yes. no longer called coach tours, are doing right. very, very well. Yes. Uh, they have to be booked in advance because of you know, departures and all the rest of it. So it's a, it's a booming market. Yes. How does this compare with that type of product? Because I think that's where your competition lies, correct? Well, for in Europe, fact, certainly. you know, what I can tell you is, in fact, some of our uh, packages actually include some of those pieces. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily a, a competitor, like we do Trafalgar and Insight tours. So, so some of that would be some of what you were talking about. Um, how does it compare? It really depends on where you're talking about what is offered. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is we try to build the tours with um, an eye to what we believe the tourists are going to be interested in. Historically, what are the things that they want to see? And then we combine them for a full package. People will often want to customize um, and create their own. We can absolutely do that as well. So, you know, as you're talking, I'm thinking Canada, of course, is an ITC market. You know, we've been trained on the European model, and uh, yes. the winter is, you know, boom, 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 ITC, ITC, ITC. Is, do you think, the reason that Europe is doing well for you is because it's carrying that same sort of easy button over to a different destination? It could very well be. It could very well be. Um, I think uh, one of the things that we've done very well as a company is get the message out there. I mean, we've been talking about Europe. We've been talking about Europe for three years. We've been really talking about Europe for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And in the last six months, we've ramped up that message significantly. So, I mean, while clearly at the end of the day, it's the consumer making the ultimate buying decision, getting our message in front of the trade has been um, really very important. With all the lift that Air Canada now has worldwide, I mean, we're talking every single continent. Right. It, are we looking now at packages further afield from Air Canada vacations? Well, you heard it here first. As a matter of fact, ah, yes. um, we already have some of those packages. Mm. We already have packages in Asia and South Pacific. Um, so if anyone would like the flyer, please let us know. We will send it to you. So we do have those packages already. Um, and at the same time, we want to be really, really good at what we're doing before we continue to branch out and branch out and branch out. But yes, we have, um, we already have packages in a lot of places that people don't know about. Not enough time today to go into it all, but um, it's all on our website. And that of course also is being updated as we speak. So there's a lot to come there. I look forward to doing a video on that topic with you soon. Thank you, Dana. Thank you so much.